like I said, Daniel Webber. There is one person that knows about the secrets that even that only the police know. One person who could have copied the genocide jack cases. Who is that person? That could have known how to copycat? Yep. Um. So, oh no, I oh no, I don't remember who was familiar. Oh her. Hina was it Hina? Like oh, Yeah, they're right. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't remember. I don't remember uh who was familiar with the genocide jack case. Was it Who has the status to view such high class files? Some high, highly classified files. Um. Oh, fuckhead. What's his name? Edgeworth knockoff. Biakuya? Right? Because he's always in the library and shit. Here's my answer. He did also show us the file and Biakuya. also sh held it's our hand through the investigation throughout the entire Isn't thing. It? Right. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the genocide jack file before this all happened, hadn't you? Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of genocide jack being the killer so hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it. The adorable glasses man was behind it all. Oh, I'm on fire! Well, Biakia, what's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. In the locker rooms, you were suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. It's a clear contradiction in what Byakuya just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. Uh, uh what is it? Oh, okay. So this is all right. So essentially, uh, don't worry about the evidence that we have. Instead, we're going to take a yellow statement within these statements and use that to contradict another statement. Okay. So basically, just like, uh, you'll get it. Actually, okay. I, I could, I could probably do this one for you, so you understand the concept. Okay. Uh, we will be using this at least once per case. Okay. So keep that in your mind. Uh, so essentially whenever you get to need to use it is whenever you have a, a list of evidence and none of it makes sense. Okay. So that's when you have to memorize the statement. So like the monokuma file number two has nothing to do with what we'll talk about right now. So... So you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found his body. But he was acting weird. How? If you are presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, <laughs> you absolutely take it! That's a natural reaction for any guy! The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So, of course, I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? You wish you'd taken me with you? Do uh, you have any idea? Before I tell you the answer, essentially. Uh... So, the statement was, before we found the body and, uh, Jihiro was a girl. Um...
No. Okay. So essentially, I'm going to be taking uh, the statement. The victim was Shihiro. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'm going to use that to contradict before we found the body. Because uh, Byakuya could not have known to go into the girl's locker room and that Chihiro was the victim before we even found out that Chihiro oh, was yes, the victim. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Yeah. So that's essentially what we're doing. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird. Fuck, it's the other way around. God damn it. God damn it. God, oh, shoot. It was the other way around. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird. God damn it. God, oh, shoot. It was the other way around. God damn it. God damn it. God, oh, shoot. It was the other way around. It's before we found the body. There we go. I keep up forgetting. So, like, essentially, the, the statement that you want to contradict is usually who is presented as the villain so as a, at that particular that. moment. Like, Byakuya is presented as the antagonist at this particular moment. So, mm -hmm. usually you will contradict his statement rather than, like, uh, whatever statement I chose to contradict. Which I think it was... You know. Because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead. Show us. What's with Byakuya's attitude? Well, fucking bitch, you know? It's like he- He's only been accused of murder. Yeah. It's like he doesn't even care. I got him cornered, but he's acting like he has nothing to do with him. What's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think. There is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Oh? Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? Differences between this case and the other Genocide Jack murders. The evidence that proves Byakuya is responsible is hidden in there. What could it be? <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. It's his desk point. My god. What? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special uh, scissors. Mm -hmm. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. Mm -hmm. But Chihiro was suspended with... It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Obviously, Oops. somebody else must have had it hidden away somewhere. Hey, right. Oh, what am I doing? Well, never seen the rope in his life. That's not true because it was his own lamp. Uh, the arrangement as well was traditionally scissors, but this time it was the door. Oops. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it! <laughs> Shit! Oh, man, I'm such a fucking loser, dude. I can't believe I missed it. I tried very hard, man, and I just missed it. Don't you dare fucking miss it again. I swear to God, I would have fucking killed Makoto. Yo, what an idiot. Anyway, nice job. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Because you see, that mm. rope, or should I say, that extension cord? <gasps> what? An extension cord? Yaku, you've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that Yeah, fact. we know you're an extension cord whore. Mm -hmm. must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? 
I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? He's doing it again. He's totally calm. Totally unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. Wait. Not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. He kept calling us a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk about this a little more. Huh? Do we really need to? We've already decided who did it. I know, but still. There's something that's still bothering me. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girl's locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Jahiro's body was definitely found in the girl's locker room, but does that mean... Can I really just accept what Byakuya said as the truth? No, I don't think so. There's definitely something wrong and something off about what he said. Um. Shit, what did he just say? Oh my god. <laughs> he said that he killed Chihiro in the girl's locker room, mm. strung her up. Right, scene of the crime. How could he get in? I got it! You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. She was found dead in the girls' locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? Mm -hmm. That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. I believe I do. Posters and shit stain. Hey. Byakuya, did you just... Did I just take you off guard? The story suddenly moved to the crime scene. Byakuya, who had been so confident up until now, maybe Byakuya never realized that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey! Don't just move on without permission! What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. It was something that was switched between the boys and the girls' locker rooms. Yeah. The, yeah, which is the shit stain and the posters. I got it. The proof that she was killed somewhere else is the poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was. A picture of a big boob supermodel. <laughs> but don't you think that's kind of strange? She's a big boob. Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> Meanwhile, the boys' locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boy's locker room. No, 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 no. So you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sakura? You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? 
While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. No! Isn't that the stain was scrubbed away? It was moved. We basically got the chance to have the fucking bad. The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. <gasps> That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? <laughs> to get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e-handbook across the card reader device. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way, and I can tell you what it was. I highly doubt that. Shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. Is he right? Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? How did Chihiro get into the boys' locker room? With Leon's handbook. Oh, Leon! Is it really possible? Could Chihiro really have gotten the into the fuck, boys' dude? locker room <laughs> somehow? <laughs> I got it! You're running into the fucking the motor uh, the mo uh, the, 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 the router. Probably broke the shit out of that. Yeah. Now I can't upload this video. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Oh, what am I doing? So theoretically, if Chihiro was able to use Leon's handbook, she could get into the boys' locker room. Yes. But when we found Leon's handbook in the main hall, it was no broken. doubt it was. In which case, can we really say that she used it? No. So, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to contradict uh, the idea that she was in the boys' locker room or hacked it by saying that it was broken. So Taka's statement, we got Taka's statement right here, and then we got Kilo's statement right here. I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, so which she one? could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Okay, yeah, Leon's handbook was broken, so it's kind of irrelevant that she could have gone in there. Okay, so which statement am I? The, 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 the last one. Oh, okay, so what Kilo said. Right? Yeah. Okay. She must have hacked she was the ultimate. I'm sure that would have no, I don't she used this bit, huh? I'm talking about Leon's Fuck. handbook, of course. Yeah! God damn it! <laughs> you know I know I know I'm throwing out excuses, right? But you know, put Dangamon for three, it, the buttons are literally reversed. It's I don't know why they changed them. But I'm used to the Dangamon for three thing. There we go. No, it's wrong. No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Why not? Because <laughs> Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. Well, then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Plus, isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. 
Yup, yup, yup. Hit the nail square on the noggin. Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked hers, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst! You can't fix an e-handbook. The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts glaring. So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Maybe Mr. Nyagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Okay then, I vote for Byakuya! Is that it then? Byakuya was killed in the girls' locker room and Byakuya's the one who did it. Really? Still, I don't know what else to, I can do. Hold on a second. I agree with you though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So, why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait. Just what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. Huh? For real? Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? Ooh, field trip! I have to go. This is a good stopping point. It's a good stopping point. No, it's not. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a good stopping point. It's a good stopping point. Four minutes from now. But the game starts in four minutes. <laughs> I can't... That's why. Okay. Okay, the game starts in four... Okay. <laughs> you, you don't have to watch the Cowboys game. Alright, you don't have to watch. <laughs> what? You don't have to. Th th I know it's an insane <laughs> concept to you. But you don't have to watch the Cowboys game. I do. You don't have to. You, I do. You, you can literally just look at the score every now and then. No, no, okay. I can give you four minutes. I can give you four minutes. That is. I'm going to miss five minutes of the game. Five minutes of the game. Nothing's going to happen in the first five minutes of the game. Yeah. Nothing happens in the first five minutes Season of the game. Season ending injuries no, could happen. Nothing's going to happen at uh, all. Explosive play. They're going to delay it because I don't know fucking. I hope there's a delay. Yeah. So, go, go, go. We got this. Four <laughs> minutes. So, before even I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kyoko in the lead. And where she took us was... The scene of the crime. I can't believe the body's still there. But well, Monokuma gets rid of it after uh, the trial. It smells like shit. You already searched this place top to bottom. What are you trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. Wanna check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Examine her carefully? Like using our hands? God, this nasty fuck. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious grounds, you know? Very well. I'll do it. Because you're the killer. <laughs> But you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. So just leave this to me. S Sakura. What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? That's not it at all. Stop screwing around. Okay, here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Putting your hands together in the brief prayer, 
Sakura began, then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... Oh, wait, she got a dick? What is it? Not possible. No it way, she have a possible. dick? Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Jihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This, this girl is... A boy. Is what? Is a boy. Oh, shit, bro. I see. So, she was actually a he. Damn it. This thought crossed my mind. I'm like, that's not... That can't be the case. Oh, my God. You gotta say these things. <laughs> but if I say everything, I was gonna say a lot of dumb shit that doesn't come true. Hey, man. That's <laughs> entertainment, right? <laughs> Damn it. I joke about this. It's really true? Chihiro was... a guy? Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy. He was a cross-dresser? Oh, no, I'm really on fire. Ah. I wish I had killed him. So that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. Damn, bro. Mm. Damn. I My don't God. apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's resume the class trial. And we'll resume the class trial in the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Dingo. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit up, let me know if I have to make up which is every single day. Bye bye. On a plot twist. That was worth the extra four minutes. Yes. That was worth it.